Here are 10 ways you know you're being harassed in court. Number one, a judge gives you only 20 minutes notice of a hearing, then proceeds to make orders in your absence, like Judge Dietrich did. Number two, a court changes rules so only your opposing counsel can give you access to upload your materials, then blames you for not being able to upload in time, like Judge Dietrich did. Number three, a judge doesn't read your materials or allow you to speak, and yet says you're an uninterested party in your mother's estate, like Judge Dietrich did. Number four, every time you ask for your basic right of disclosure, judges making a sport out of preventing you that right, like Judge McEwen's courthouse did. Number five, judges allowing lawyers to dominate pretty much all the hearing, then rushing you through the last few minutes, like pretty much all the courthouses do. Number six, a judge initiating email communications with you for several weeks, then labeling you vexatious for responding, like Judge David Corbett did. Number seven, a court scheduling hearings three days in a row with no notice to you, like the criminal court has been doing. Number eight, Crown Attorney Vladko Karadzic giving himself six weeks to prepare his materials for a hearing, then giving you only a couple of days to prepare yours. Number nine, a judge says they don't have any jurisdiction in your case, then goes ahead and makes an order anyways, like Judge Wendy Matheson did. Number ten, Every time you stand up for your rights, the judges and the lawyers label you vexatious or malicious. So why don't Canadians have the right to speak out when they're being abused?